Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. This is a bit of a follow-up to our original episode about the AverMedia Live Gamer HD, where we used it to stream a game from the PC where we were playing to the interwebs. This is a completely different scenario. In this case, instead of playing a game on the computer, I'm using my computer with the Live Gamer HD to capture gameplay footage from a console and then record it to my computer or even stream it live with XSplit using, you know, a little commentary bubble or whatever else with a webcam. So I'm going to walk you guys through how you can do this very quickly and very simply. And I'm going to die now. Totally going to die. I died. Compared to other capture cards, I'm absolutely blown away by how easy to use the Live Gamer HD is. Now, I want to explain what all the displays around me are, as well as the devices, very quickly. This is an Xbox 360. You can put in whatever console you want, as long as it has an HDMI output. This is a 720p display that normally is plugged directly into the Xbox 360, right like this. Instead of that, I'm taking the cable that's plugged into the Xbox, this one, I'm plugging it into the back of the Live Gamer HD, into HDMI in, so that's my source. Then I'm taking the other cable and I'm plugging that into the TV that I'm normally using to output from my Xbox 360. Without any perceivable input lag, you are going to see, aha, uh -huh, now it is displayed, it is completely automatically detected. Now I take my HDMI cable, plug it into my graphics card, and this is what would normally be the monitor for my PC, and that'll kick up in just a moment here. Now what I'm going to show you is, yes, my game is ready to go, I can play my game, I can walk around. To finish the setup process, all I have to do is either choose capture or stream, depending on whether I just want to capture the content to my local computer, or stream it to a service such as twitch.tv. We're just going to go with capture. There's several different options, pro, newbie, and amateur. Amateur will get you through the setup very, very quickly. Choose game console, video source is HDMI. You can see a preview to make sure that it's working. Audio source is fine, video settings I know are fine. You can check your bit rates, your resolution. In this case, the resolution will be 720p, but I can actually use the onboard processor to scale it down if my bandwidth won't allow me to stream 720p to my channel, or if I want to save on the file size, although the file sizes will be quite small due to the built-in H.264 compression engine that is on the card. And finally, you can set up your hotkey. No need to set up a hotkey though, it comes with the hot button, which comes on a nice long USB cord and you can press it as soon as you're ready to record your footage. So now that that's done, I can click ready. I'm in ready mode, I can see again my preview, I can throw it in full screen mode should I so desire, and I am playing my game. I go, okay, something epic's about to happen, I press my hot button, and boom, we are recording. It is that simple to, prep, to set up it actually takes that long to set up. Very cool stuff. Previewing the footage you saved is as simple as clicking on the video folder button, and right here you can see we have saved our 720p content with no perceivable impact on the image quality, which is very, very cool, and very small files as well compared to an uncompressed capture solution. I'm going to go ahead and close that down. Now I'm going to show you guys how quick it is to get set up with XSplit. So XSplit's a free program unless you want access to more scenes and better audio codecs. And you can see all you have to do is here. I'm going to remove it just so I can show you guys how long it takes. Add camera, AverMedia HD capture. Then you just kind of put it where you want it to go. Add, and you can add another camera such as a webcam so you can do commentaries in the corner. I'm going to add a media file to simulate the experience for you guys. Picture of Linus goes here. RAR. And you can resize that and do your little commentary window. Then all you got to do is press broadcast and you can link your Twitch TV account here. I'm just going to do a local recording so that I'm not bothering all of my Twitch subscribers. And then you are back to playing your game, which again, I really can't do because this is a console and I'm having a lot of difficulty with it. There we go. I got the dude. And now I'm going to sort of point at the other dudes and like... Press the gun. Ah, 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 you got nothing. And I'm capturing all of this epicness just like that. 
If you want to do something more complicated than just recording to your hard drive or streaming a straight gameplay stream, you know, maybe with a voiceover or whatever else to Twitch, then you can use XSplit, which is a free software unless you want to add more scenes and get a better audio codec or whatever else. And I'm going to show you guys how long this takes as well. Add camera, Avermedia, HD capture, boom, done. Then you want to add maybe another camera, like a webcam, you want to add a screen region, IP camera, whatever else. I'm going to add a media file so I can simulate the experience of what it would be like if Linus did gameplay streams. There we go, picture of Linus goes here, rawr. Then you go ahead and play the game, and you can actually preview this at whatever size you want. So you can even run that at 90% so you guys can see it a little bit better there. You can shoot the lights to create shadows. I really, really have trouble with console games here. You can press A to climb on a pipe, which I'm trying to do, but I didn't know where the A button was, so I was, I was having some trouble with that there. And you can go, okay, something epic's about to happen, I'm going to broadcast to Twitch, or I'm going to do a local recording because I don't want to bother all my Twitch subscribers with that kind of stuff. And then you press your, whoop, trigger button, something. Oh, I'm having, there we go. Press your trigger button, get the dude, and then run out into, you know, a blaze of glory and all that stuff, and... Oh, 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 and I'm dead, so that is how long it takes to set it up and do commentaries. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips on how to capture footage and do live streams from your console with the Avermedia Rec Central Live Gamer HD. Don't forget to subscribe.